Hello everyone and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am of course your host Aaron and today we are going to go over the results of the WWE Royal Rumble 2024. Was I right? Was I wrong? Or did I kind of guess it okay? Let's get wrong with a fresh edition of this guy right here, Aaron. It is in the books, the 2024 Royal Rumble is over. There are the winners and there are the losers, and I am going to talk about them right here, right now, on this episode of 8 Minutes with Aaron. Alright, so we got to start off with uh, the commentary team in the beginning. We had a surprise appearance by Pat McAfee, who joined Corey Graves and Michael Cole. Now, Pat McAfee, at first, was a little off. He hasn't been doing commentary in about a year, or a year and a half, so he took him a little bit to get back into the swing of things. It was actually kind of funny at first. He would just toss out like little bits and pieces of random shit, and I, me and my friends who were watching it, we would just crack up. We're like, what, what is he talking about? So let's just jump right into it because we only got like seven minutes now. But the first match was the Women's Royal Rumble. Now, the Women's Royal Rumble was actually pretty good. I would even say it was a little bit better than the men's. Uh, it started off with uh, the returning Naomi. You know, her music came on and she was all glowing and shit. And she had her hair done with like black letters in her name. The first competitor who was in there was Natalia. We Natalia's been in the WWE for years. She really didn't go far. She's just a big prominent face in the division or in WWE. So we had like a couple surprise appearances. We had some people from TNA, the women's champion in TNA. I don't know her name. Maybe it was Roxanne Perez, or maybe that was the NXT champion, Roxanne Perez. Uh, both champions did good because the NXT one was also in the Rumble. We had a big surprise by Jade Cargill. She was husky throughout Nia Jax. Nia Jax was in the Rumble. She was smashing people with her butt and, you know, tossing her way around and shit like that. Becky Lynch did not win. Nope. And then we had returning at number 30, Liv Morgan, which I also made a prediction. But you know who came out on top? That's right, my pick, my girl, Bailey. She won the Royal Rumble. She threw out Liv Morgan after she threw out Jade Cargill, which could have went in the favor of Jade Cargill. I would not have been upset. Her name did not even come to my mind when I was going to talk about the Women's Royal Rumble. So surprise, surprise, that was actually a huge surprise for me. But the Women's Royal Rumble did not have any returning people uh, other than Naomi and the two surprise uh, NXT and TNA champions. All right. Ba -ba boom Bailey's the winner. I don't know who she's going to challenge. We're going to find out tomorrow on Monday. Maybe. Hopefully she's going to go challenge Io Sky. Or maybe she'll challenge Rhea Ripley. And then like in a month. She'll be like, nah, 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 nah. I want to change my decision. Could happen. But one. Up. Because I was right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The next match. The Fatal 4-Way. Roman Reigns. Randy Orton. AJ Styles. And L. Hey, night, yeah! Guess who won that match? Hmm, not yet. Uh, that match was kind of eh as well. It, did, it was very slow. It wasn't really fast-paced. Everybody was basically getting in their moves. A lot of people were on the outside of the ring, such as like AJ Styles and LA Knight. Randy Orton was gone for uh, quite some time. Uh, the match came down to, you know, Randy Orton, he got the RKO on LA Knight, RKO on uh, AJ Styles, and hit a nasty RKO on Roman Reigns. Went for the pin. One, two. Solo Sokoa was outside the ring. Pulled the ref out, causing Randy Orton to not get the pinfall. Roman Reigns got up. Uh, Sokoa came in, did the thumb to Randy Ah, that hurt. Damn, don't ever do a thumb to your neck. The thumb to Randy Orton. He did a thumb, I think, to LA Knight. And then Roman Reigns uh, speared AJ Styles when he tried to do a Styles uh, forearm or whatever. Phenomenal forearm from top rope. I'm messing this whole shit up. Roman Reigns came out there with champion. I was right. That's two for the column. Up for me again. All right. Now we had to go to the Logan Paul Kevin Owens match. And now you're probably saying to yourself, well, Aaron, you were right. Right. You got to be wrong here, right? Eh. I was right again because Logan Paul did pick up the victory. Now, not how I thought he was going to pick up the victory. I didn't think that it was going to be... Uh, <laughs> Or did I say there was going to be interference by Austin Theory and Grayson Waller? Ah, it took me a little bit to remember. But yes, I told you there's going to be some interference. They threw some brass knucks in the ring. And Kevin Owens popped 
Logan Paul in the face. And when he went for the pin, one, two. The ref saw the brass knuckles. Ding, ding, ding. DQ. Doesn't matter how he wins it. He won the match. Logan Paul walked out the U.S. champion. Now, I got to say something. This was probably the best match of the whole card of the Royal Rumble. Other than Bailey winning, of course. And I got to say, Logan Paul took a beating. This dude was bloody in the end. I think his ear was bleeding a little bit. But he did some husky moves. Kevin Owens did some husky shit. So I kind of called that they were going to have a badass match. Right? Right? Yeah, I did. And now we have to go to the men's Royal Rumble. Now, my expectations for the men's Royal Rumble were uh, kind of high. I thought there were going to be a little surprise appearances, maybe from Sheamus, uh, maybe from my buddy Jinder Mahal. They, they weren't in there. And I could probably name a couple other people. There were no, like, no TNA people. Like during the women's Rumble, there were TNA people. Uh, there were no like signings or new signings. Everyone's like, oh, shit, like, I can't believe this person's here. Omos was in the Rumble. Omos. So that was a little bit of eh, but Omos did some pretty cool shit. I believe he did Braun Breaker. I think he eliminated Braun Breaker or Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker from NXT was in the Rumble, and he did phenomenal. I'm going to have to check NXT out because he was, a, he was a beast, a beast, and his spears look great. I don't know why he's not in WWE. They could push that dude to the moon. He's got the look. He, he's got the strength. I don't know if he's got the charisma on the mic. That might be the problem that they have there. Or he just thinks he's going to get lost in the shuffle, which is a very big possibility. But let's talk about the final four, which I also called Gunther, Drew McIntyre, Cody Rhodes, and CM Punk. Now, I said CM Punk would throw Drew McIntyre over their top rope. Bam, got him. And then Cody Rhodes through Gunther. Got him. And it brought it down to Cody Rhodes and CM Punk. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. When there were about six people left in the Rumble, I was skitzed Because I was afraid that if Gunther did not get thrown out of the Rumble, there was a good chance he was going to win. And I had all my money, all of my money, on CM Punk winning the Rumble. Why would they have Cody Rhodes win it twice? I, I, I get it maybe for the story and he has to complete it. He doesn't need another Royal Rumble win unless you just want to give him so many accolades that that's why he can be Roman Reigns. Like you got to make him do another Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin won, I think, in 96 and 97 or was it 97, 98. Don't matter. Stone Cold Steve Austin won two in a row. And now this chump won two in a row. Cody Rhodes. That's right. CM Punk lost. He got thrown out by Cody Rhodes and my whole night crashed. All the joy I had for Bailey winning. I was three for three until that last Royal Rumble match. And I had to get screwed over. Uh, CM Punk, he looked kind of winded. You know, he's my boy and all, but he didn't. He, he, did, he did look quite winded. But he, I don't know what is in store now. What is in store for CM Punk? Will he be in the main event at WrestleMania? How does he get there? Is it going to be Gunther versus Rollins now? Because I thought CM Punk would win and challenge Rollins. That was his only way in. But overall, let's give that match an up as well because I like CM Punk. Oh, yeah, and I didn't get the Logan Paul one. And up! And, uh, yeah, so let's get ready for the whole WWE 2024 Roman Rumble. You are getting an up as well. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me with 8 Minutes with Aaron. I will see you next time when we get back to the normal stuff that we usually do, which is I don't know. So I will see you next time. Bye.